Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most engine repairs will require some disassembly of the product. Before you attempt this, make sure the engine has cooled. To remove the recoil starter, use a 5mm hex head screwdriver to unthread the three starter mounting screws. With the screws removed, you can pull the starter off. Reinstall the starter by first aligning it on the tank support bumper. Then thread and tighten the mounting screws to secure. To access the carburetor, first depress the tabs to release the air filter cover and pull out the filter element. Now use an 8mm socket or nut driver to unthread the mounting nuts securing the filter housing. Remove the support plate and detach the housing from the breather tube. Note the orientation of the fuel lines attached to the carburetor. Then detach them. Be prepared for some fuel to spill. With the lines detached, you can slide the carburetor off of the mounting posts. Reinstall or replace the carburetor by first confirming that the mounting posts are fully extended. Then slide the carburetor onto them. Attach the fuel lines to the appropriate ports on the carburetor. Confirm that the O-ring is in place in the air filter housing. Then reposition the housing by inserting the port into the breather tube as you align the housing on the posts. Replace the support plate. Then thread and tighten the mounting nuts to secure the assembly. Replace the air filter element. Realign the air filter cover and snap it into place. To access the muffler, clutch, or flywheel, first use the 5mm hex head screwdriver to loosen the mounting screw securing the engine cover and pull the cover free. To uninstall the muffler, first loosen the screws securing the muffler heat shield. Use an 8mm socket to unthread the mounting nuts securing the muffler. You can now tip the heat shield forward and slide off the muffler. Replace the muffler by sliding it onto the mounting bolts. Thread the nuts and tighten. Tighten the screw to secure the heat shield. If you need to remove the clutch, first position the engine so the clutch is facing upward. Now unthread the mounting screws securing the flywheel housing. Detach the housing. Now detach the wire and boot from the spark plug. Use a 5 8 inch socket or spark plug wrench to help loosen and remove the plug. Confirm that the piston is in the down position. 
then insert a cord into the cylinder to prevent the piston from moving. Use a 14 mm socket to unthread the clutch mounting bolts to release the clutch. With the clutch removed, you can use a 10 mm socket to remove the flywheel mounting nut. Use a small gear puller to help detach the flywheel. Reinstall or replace the flywheel by aligning the keyway with the slot in the crankshaft. Rethread the mounting nut and tighten. Reinstall the clutch by first aligning the spacers on the flywheel posts. Reposition the clutch. Confirm that the washers are positioned on the mounting bolts. Then re-thread and tighten the bolts to secure the clutch. Remove the cord from the cylinder. Rethread the spark plug. Be careful not to strip the threads by over tightening. Attach the wire in boot. Realign the flywheel housing. Rethread and tighten the mounting screws. Reposition the engine cover. Then thread and tighten the mounting screw to secure. With the reassembly complete, your engine should be ready for use.